Hello everyone, Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. Today I'm going to be showing you the difference between an Apple business chat message and a regular text message from a brand. So first, what I've done is I've updated my phone to iOS 11.3, which now has Apple business chat um, installed into the operating system. If you have an older iOS version, you'll have to update it to get to Apple business messaging. So. What I'm going to show you here is the top messages, all the way from Hilton to TD Ameritrade, those are Apple business chat messages. And then uh, down here, from Papa Murphy's to Office Depot, these are regular text messages sent on an SMS shortcode. An SMS shortcode is a five to six digit phone number. Right off the bat, you can see the difference here. It's pretty obvious, but let's go through it. So I'm going to click on Papa Murphy's here. First off, you can see kind of just even from the messaging feed, there's big differences. Number one is it comes from a short code if it's a text message. So Papa Murphy's is coming from the short code 90421, where Hilton, there, there's no short code there. It's just coming from Hilton Hotels and Resorts. So that's a big difference right there. The second one is you can see that um, instead of you know, Papa Murphy's just has like a little uh, circle there uh, with a gray face and Papa Murphy's looks exactly like Baskin Robbins and Taco John's and Subway and Office Depot, where Hilton actually has a logo there and same as Marriott and Home Depot. So it's a, it looks way better in your messaging feed than just the, the circle with a, a gray face in it, kind of the default face on an iPhone. And then uh, the third component here is see that little verified check mark uh, right by Marriott and Home Depot and Hilton? Well, that means that it's actually the Marriott that is text messaging you. So there's a lot of issues with text message um, spam and phishing attacks where it's actually not you know the bank that you bank with that's text messaging you. It's somebody pretending to be the bank that you text message with, and that causes a lot of issues. This way it actually verifies it so you know that this is your bank. So I think that's something also people will get used to in the future is when you're, when you're text messaging with a brand, I could see that people will only text message with you know verified brands. So let's click here for Papa Murphy's. And you can see this is a regular text message from a short code. If I click info, uh, there's not much here. It just says the short code 90421. And let's go down here to, uh, let's find a good one, uh, Taco John's. Here's kind of a, a MMS message, which is a little more robust than an SMS message. You get a subject line, you get an image or a video, and then you get a text, a lot more text. And let's see, Subway is a good example of a link. So they don't use an MMS message, but they're putting a link in the text message that then links out to an experience on the mobile web. Now let's go to the business chat messages. So, you know, look at all these, they're, they're pretty cool. Um, the first thing you're gonna notice is the minute you click on one of these, wow, this looks like the Home Depot, um, right within your messaging chat. So we went from this, Papa Murphy's 90421, kind of the gray background, to that. Pretty big difference here. So you have, you know, a custom color up in the header. You have a logo, that Home Depot, that's their logo. You then have the verified, you know, check mark, which makes people feel safe when they're messaging uh, that it is Home Depot. It's not somebody pretending to be Home Depot. And then when I click info here, look at all the info it gives me. It gives me the logo, verified, their website, even tells me how fast they respond. So pretty pretty great experience from a customer uh, perspective, especially if they need additional uh, assistance or help. Okay, then let's go and, you know, remember the experience with SMS is, is pretty plain. Now, SMS does work. It gets 99% open rates. I think 90% of messages are open within three minutes. You know, this is a workhorse. This gets things done. But, you know, look how beautiful now um you know, messaging has become with Apple business uh, chat. So I can go in here 
and right within messaging, this is not opening a new app or anything. I'm clicking on buttons. I'm you know getting a quote you know in the messaging app. If you go back to uh, you know Papa Murphy's, that that's kind of essentially what it is. That that's the message. You know, redeem it in the store. This is super interactive. I can go in here and I can say, you know, hey, I want a, a quote, a stock quote for Microsoft. And if it's working properly, it'll send back, you know, a quote uh, for Microsoft. So look how look how beautiful this looks. You know, you have, you know, images, you have menus. So I can, you know, I can go in here and I can select, I want to see the events for Microsoft. So it's a much more engaging experience than more of like a just kind of passive experience with, with SMS and MMS the way it currently is, is just send the message, they get the message, and that's essentially all. Look at this. You know, so it's sending me multiple images and then even some chatbot type stuff where, you know, I can go in and I can respond no or yes and it'll set my settings. So, um really cool experience and and definitely a different experience. I can even go back to the main menu where, you know, if you look at, um, you know, Taco John's, it, it is pretty stagnant. This is kind of what it is. You know, Hilton, you know, big difference um, between the two different experiences. So hopefully that helps uh, kind of give you an overview. We have a bunch of uh, videos, uh, demos of how each brand is using uh, Apple Business uh, Chat, but I think it's interesting to kind of compare and contrast um, the regular text messaging, which we're all used to, uh, text messaging and MMS, uh, so SMS and MMS, and then comparing that to what has been recently launched by Apple in the iOS 11.3 update, which is Apple Business Chat. And as you can see, there's a pretty significant difference between the two. So we're really excited to hear to Tango um, about Apple Business Chat. And if you have any questions, let us know. Again, my name is Derek Johnson, and I'm with Tatango.com.